I want to talk about versus, and um, I watched the whole thing. Oh, and it was brutal. It was, it was brutal. Uh, what versus did this R and B edition? It exposed, it exposed uh, some uh, some singers. Uh, Thirty five baddie Kia says that her and her business partner are doing a showcase event here in Baltimore. They're doing it in August. Uh, why don't you DM me or email me DJ Diamond K at gmail.com some information about the event and I will plug it uh, on the show. Uh, and so, yeah, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com or DM me or inbox me and uh, give me some information on the event. Send me a flyer or send me, you know, send me some words and I will sit. I got this like the this is the, the Flywire's white party and I'll write up the commercial and then I'll mention it. Boom. There it is. So uh, very simple to do that. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Also, artists, send me music. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. I am going in the mix later on today. See turntables behind me? Behind me. Yeah. But anyway, uh, send me music, artists. Now, the verses between Omarion and Mario happened on Thursday. And uh, there was this, uh, they, had, they had an opening act. Right. We never seen a verses with an opening uh, opening verses before. Has there been? I don't remember. So there was a pre-show battle between Ray J and Bobby V, Bobby Valentino, Bobby V, Pleasure P, and Sammy. Weird combination, and and you know Ray J is always Ray J is always lit. <laughs> right. So you have this, and Ray J is probably most known for the song. Uh, one wish, and uh, uh, that was just Ray J brings out his son, and uh, so he held his son throughout the song. Uh, as it appeared, Ray J wasn't uh, wasn't hitting the high notes in the song. He told the crowd, "Hey, I've I missed a few notes on that, but I was holding my son. Y'all gotta excuse me for that. Holding your son is not gonna stop you from hitting the notes, right? I've been in the studios long enough." I produce enough records to understand that this verse has exposed these singers. Many of these singers, we talk about what happened to R&B. Where's R&B? These R&B singers have been exposed to not be really singers, right? So you can do it in the studio. We we can do the uh, the the auto tune, right? Uh, producers, this is my um, my MPC Mini. I don't know if you can see this. It's my NPC mini right here, right? Right? And uh, so uh, you can't see my uh, mixing board, but I've, uh, there's, I have two mixing boards right here. And producers can mask some of these things. A lot of people talk about auto-tune, right? Auto-tune is a plug-in. Auto-tune is an effect. Now, when you hear the T-Pain or you hear the future effect or other, other uh, folks that use it, they are turning it way, way up to give you that distorted sound. But, but when auto-tune is used in the way that it was designed, it just brings people on key. It automatically brings them on key. And a lot of these singers, now it's not something that usually happens in real time. They sing it badly, and then in production, you bring it to tune, and then that's what is released. So you think that these artists can actually do this in real life, but no, producers don't get enough credit. Producers make these guys and girls sound better than they actually do. The auto-tune brings them on key, brings them to the right note. I'm not talking about the distorted T-Pain future sound. I'm talking about just regular singing that's off key and they use it. You know, They're not turning it all the way up to 10. They're like putting it on like two. And, and it's almost to the point where you can hear it slightly. Uh, if they're really, really off key, you can hear it sli slightly, right? Uh, but when you are live, you don't have those options. And uh, these artists know, you know, some of these artists that I'm, I'm, I'm watching them, right? And Mario, oh, Mario was a savage. Mario was a savage. He's from Baltimore. That, that's how we roll sometimes. Now, Omarion versus Mario. It was not even fair. Mario came off like a bully, right? Like 
y'all got me in uh on the stage against Omarion. Mario, this is what you wanted, right? This is what you wanted. I would have much rather have seen Mario in a situation that was more challenging, like Usher. Usher and Mario, that would have been challenging. Uh, and uh, but here's the thing: when you have those singing, dancing artists, their vocals are going to be shaky because their focus is dancing. Their focus is the stage show. And those vocals are going to be shaky. Jan, Jan, shout out to Janet Jackson. Those vocals are going to be shaking, shaky. Shout out to Sierra. Those kind of artists, when they're, they're moving around, it's better. And then you say, well, they're dancing around. So, uh, you know, you give, them some, you give them some leeway when they're dancing around. Omarion, I, I, know, I don't know how many songs Mar Omarion did. I don't, I don't have my notes in front of me. But I would say that he was off key for most of those songs. He was off key most of those songs. Uh, Mario flexed on him. Mario smashed him. Mario was coming off like an R&B Jada Kiss. I mean, because he's talking. He's talking and, and, and he's singing and uh, he's providing background commentary. Oh, it was it was brutal. Mario, you ain't had to do him like that, fam. Now, let me, let me say this. Mario came up on the talent show circuit here in Baltimore like uh, many artists, like Drew Hill, like many artists, performing on the talent show circuit in Baltimore. Baltimore is a tough city to perform in, all right? I came up on the talent show circuit, and many other artists, uh, Rough Ends, Drew Hill, uh, artists that are from Baltimore, that had to perform in the talent show circuit in Baltimore where they show you no mercy. Your vocals have got to be good or they will boo you off the stage. I heard vocals from so-called mainstream artists like Omarion, like Sammy, right? Like Ray J, like Pleasure P. Pleasure P wasn't as bad as some of those other ones, right? But those, uh, 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 Jeremiah, that I heard vocals come from their mouths that they would have been booed off the stage anywhere, anywhere in this country. I don't know why they weren't booed on stage last night uh, or Thursday night. I don't know. I'm glad that they weren't, but it was um, it was pretty bad. Ray J got upset at Bobby V, Pleasure P, and Sammy, who, who accused of interrupting his set. They were trying to show you how to sing the song, and they, they sung the song a little bit, but they still sounded like wounded animals singing the song. Oh, it was bad. <laughs> it was bad. And then Pleasure P, Pleasure P has a lot. R&B, I've produced you know, some R&B singers. I have um, uh, a t I put together a girls group one time. Uh, well, they were they were already put together, but I was trying to rough out the edges. And these ladies, I've said this a few times, they broke up in the studio while we were recording the first song. Fussing over who's going to sing lead. And R&B singers are a different level of diva, a different level of diva. Uh, and so Ray J is getting upset because of uh, uh, Bobby V, Pleasure P, and Sammy were trying to sing the song for him. One one wish, uh, and um, you know it just it, it it wasn't it wasn't good, man. It, it wasn't good. Ray J said that y'all been interrupting my song, singing my songs, singing the harmonies. I start uh, again a cappella to try to serenade Princess, and y'all go one wish again. Like, damn, just let me get one off. And uh, all y'all niggas just mad because y'all don't own y'all hits. Okay, that was brutal. That was, that was brutal. <laughs> it, was like, it, was, it was interesting. Uh, I like the verses when they're celebrations, right? I don't like it when it's so tense, right? When we see the, as the, the crowd, we're watching. We want to hear songs that we like. We want to see y'all up there bicker, bickering and fussing. Like a bunch of school kids. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. So we, we saw a real singer, Brandy. We saw her briefly. And her and Monica, they ripped it. Now, Ray J, I don't know how much he rehearses. Uh, but uh, Brandy's his, his sister. and She's going to make excuses for him. Um, she reposted a video of comedians making fun of his performance of One Wish. Uh, Ray J added in the caption, okay, it's like, what? Y'all wrong. 
uh, before calling out the creators of the video. From there, Ray J said, it's going to be this kind of a day. I'm dead. Brandy took to Ray J's comments and spoke on Ray J's vocals after pointing out that Ray J deleted her previous comment. Pops told me that you didn't drink none of the tea I made for you. He also told me that you were taking uh, or sorry, talking all day when I specifically said no talking and only drink water and the special tea I made for you uh, at four in the freaking morning. Brandy then cracked a joke saying, if I had one wish, you would listen to your big sis sometimes, especially for verses. <laughs> yeah, I mean, clearly Ray J needs to listen to his uh, big sister, Brandy who is a, uh, a, a well-respected singer. Nobody was, was expecting uh, Ray J to, um, you know, sing the national anthem <laughs> at all. But uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, but as, as I said, Mario uh, uh, just, he sounded great. Everybody else, Tank came out at one point in time, and, and Mario bullied them, uh, and they, they bullied them so bad. <laughs> Tank and, and, and Omarion turned and was facing the opposite way. Uh, uh, Tank sang you know, a few a few good notes, but there were some questionable ones early on, and it, it was it was an interesting it was an interesting uh, evening. Uh, but uh, Ray J, oh, it's I don't I don't know if last night's or, or Thursday night's performance uh, helps or or hurts these guys. Uh, performances. Now, uh, everyone wasn't watching, and, and I suppose there are some people that would still go out to see them. Uh, Omarion's Plug in a Book. It's coming out in the fall. Are folks excited about this book? Are folks ready for this Omarion book? I think he should have been brought out this book. There was a time when folks really wanted to hear what he had to say because, you know, the uh, the girl was in April, right? But um, I don't know. Bobby Valentino had a lot of hits, and there was some talent there. I liked his piano performances, but then he's going to start singing. And then, and then he starts singing and, and messed it all up. Without the uh, without the uh, uh, auto-tune, not the the, um, uh, the the distorted version, but just a slight auto-tune to bring him on, uh, on beat uh, would have been much, much appreciated. But uh, we did not get it. We did not get it. What we did get was some bad vocals from some R&B singers or so-called singers, at least with rappers, right? At least with rappers, they going to rap. Uh, uh, J-Har215, what up, though? What's going on? Um, yeah, so I, I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why they gave us that pre-versus thing. That, that, uh, that it was just, it was just a random matchup. Ray J, Bobby Valentino, Sammy, and Pleasure P. That was just a that was just a weird, weird matchup. I that was a weird matchup. Can you imagine if you had to pay for that? I mean, the folks that paid money to go see it live, uh, it was their experience. But uh, can you imagine pay, them trying to charge us at home for that? Folks would have been mizzed. Um, and so uh, uh, is that Romano? Romano. F holder 214 says RB is uh RB is okay. Hold on, hold on, it's moving too fast. RB is still sexy to this day. Hip hop is always going to be going to live forever. And rap is what you make the money. Uh, that is uh, the bottom line because I know so. Okay. Jay Harris says that it was crazy. He did not like it. Uh, and uh that is the uh, verses. We're talking about verses, and that is on uh, Instagram. Uh, he also says, yeah, that was weird for real, for real. And uh, that was the bottom line. It was crazy. It was crazy. See, I, me, myself, I like when they are celebrations, right? I don't want to see R&B, like, I don't want to see R&B, I, I can sing better than you. You can't sing better than me. You hit St. This, you hit St. That. Like, I just want to hear, let's just hear the song, right? And uh, Jay Hart says nobody really want to see Ray J like that. Yeah, I, I don't. Um, I just I don't know. Uh, talking about Ray J songs, right? I mean, I definitely remember playing "Sexy Can I" in the club. I never played "One Wish" in the club uh, before. "Sexy Can I" 
definitely. Wait a minute. I played that in the club. That 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 got a lot of burn. Uh, Ray J had another song that he was featuring. I can't remember the name of it right now. It might have been with Daz Dillinger that I liked. It didn't get any play over here. It's like a West Coast kind of vibe. Um, but as far as Ray J, I mean, it's just a lot of antics. You know, a lot of stuff like that. But our folks coming out to see Ray J. Uh, we bumped into Ray J once in D.C. at a, um, a TV One event one time. Hey, he seemed cool, cool, nice guy. Uh, Brandy was there as well. Uh, Jay Hara says on Instagram, on Instagram, Jay Hara215 says he's basically good for two songs per album. Two songs per album is pretty good. I mean, two songs per album is pretty good. What singers, like what male singers of this generation are there? I'll wait. I mean, you know, that, that Chris Brown, I consider him to be of a previous the previous generation. Who's the Who's the R&B singer of the moment right now? Uh, Trey songs of a previous generation, right? Who's the R&B singer now? There, there are no R&B groups like that. I ain't talking about shout out to my guys, rough ends. I ain't talking about them. They from a previous generation. Who's the Who's the millennial the, the, the millennial singer, right? Of the moment, uh, are there any? Can they sing anymore? Maybe the millennial singers are now just rappers, right? The millennial singers are now just rappers. Uh, Daz Dillinger says that he is retiring from rap. Took to social media, says he's retiring from rapping. Uh, the legend has officially retired, uh, with a portion of the photo photo saying, Since 2022, not my problem anymore. Uh, Daz says that he is done rapping because it's over for me. It was nice when it was hot, but it's not fun no more. So I'm gonna call it quits. This is my last post. The legendary producer and rapper has created many storied moments with his music, including the Dog Pounds, New York, New York, uh, his production on songs like Ambitions as a Rider, Iron Maddicha, and many more. I don't want him to retire. I really, uh, I really like Daz. Um, you know what? I'm going to reach out to Daz. Daz, do not retire. Don't get frustrated by this stuff. Uh, Jay Hara says that they are not this generation, right? I agree. Not just this generation. Who is it though? Who's the R&B singer of this generation? Male singer. I think we got some female, a couple females, right? Everything is singing mixed with rap now. He says, so are you saying that there's no R&B? <laughs> I guess it's not. And that's why a lot of these, a lot of these guys get frustrated. Uh, Tank has had his moments where he kind of, uh, spazzes out on social media because he's frustrated. And what happens is that, you know, behind the scenes, their folks, they're having issues with the label. They're having this kind of problem, that kind of problem. And then they take it to social media and talk crazy. I sometimes I love social media, but I miss the days when we didn't know every little thing. Right. Some of the mystique was good to have. Now, when somebody's angry, they just post some stuff and uh, uh, then, you know, they got come back later. Oh, I was mad or, or this or that or, you know. Uh, but in the days prior to social media, they couldn't do all that. You know, what I mean, they felt they felt a certain kind of way. They moved past it, and we didn't know because magazines came out once a month. Jay Horace said, "I'd like to see Omarion versus Lloyd. I don't want to see Omarion no more. Right? I don't want to see Omarion no more. All right? <laughs> and Lloyd is is uh Lloyd. I, I've I've seen Lloyd live." And uh, Lloyd is not going to sound too much different than Bobby V. Uh, uh, sad but true. <laughs> Chris Brown and Usher is the one that I want to see. Uh, Chris Brown and Usher is the one I want to see. I think that some folks may be surprised at how the vocals go. But that would be a great one there. Versus needs to make that Chris Brown versus Usher happen. Uh, I would love that. And I know that a lot of people would like that. Chris Brown and Usher. I don't know who wins that. I don't know who wins that. Uh, but Mario versus Omarion, uh, no contest. Mario uh, killed it. Mario killed it. He represented real good. We got a lot of Baltimore mentions up there on the stage. Omarion said he's from Inglewood. And uh, uh, Mario questioned that. He, he wasn't feeling that. He, yeah, yeah, right. Who? Who co-signed for this dude is uh is pretty much uh the energy that he had. Uh, but all in all, it was fun, funny. 
And uh, I guess we're looking forward to the next the next verses. Uh, uh, rappers, singers, recording artists, send me your music. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. I will be going in the mix uh, later on today. Uh, OnFireTV.com, TheDiamondKShow.com. Anywhere you get your podcast, search Diamond K, The Diamond K Show. DJ Diamond K at gmail.com. Tickets for the Baltimore Crown Awards are on sale now. The Baltimore Scene.org or text 443-248-2596. Tickets also on sale for the Flywire and TFP's All White Party. That is Sunday, July the 24th at Hammerjacks, 5 to 10 p.m. Hammerjacks.com is where you go to get those tickets. Jay Hara said, I still play Omarion. Leave my boy alone. Look, Jay Hara, did you see your boy Omarion? Okay. Did you have the sound turned up? I ain't talking about on the records. On the records is good, but I'm talking about live, right? You're a recording artist. You know this. Live fam sounded real shaky. I like your songs, though. I, I like your songs. Would I want to feature? Absolutely, I would want to feature. But when it comes to him doing it live, I'm going to say, yo, we need to keep the track playing, turn his mic down real, real low live, and uh, and we be good. <laughs> we be good, definitely. Um, as I said, miss any episodes of the show, uh, youtube.com slash DJ Diamond K, uh, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, iHeartRadio. And uh, I, he says he's biased. Okay, so you're not gonna. I know you would take a feature, uh, a feature on one of your songs from Omarion, as would I, as would I. Uh, but you know, it, it is what it is. Versus is all in fun, and um. Some folks take that real, real serious. Some folks take that real, real serious. Usher and Chris Brown is another good one. What else, though? If, if R, R, let me see. R. Kelly could get on stage and rip any of them singers. R. Kelly can get on stage and rip any of them singers. I still think, I don't know, who, who can mess with R. Kelly? Right? Beyonce. Who, who, can, who can handle Beyonce? I don't know who can handle Beyonce. Beyonce would uh, definitely uh, uh, kill it. Shout out to the homie Drake. Um, I did some uh, uh, writing on one of the songs on the album, Calling My Name, on uh, on the current Drake album. You can check me out on that song. And, uh, uh, it, and it's all good. Uh, yeah, so shout, shout out to him. I, I love the album. I love, the, I love a recording artist. I love when... Uh, you know, when an, an artist takes chances, Jay Hara says Rihanna. So I guess he's saying Beyonce and Rihanna. Rihanna might have the best chance. That would be a good battle, Beyonce and Rihanna. Uh, that would be a good battle. I, vocally, though, I mean, Beyonce, I don't know. Just That's that's a good one. That She's probably got the, clo- the closest chance. I don't see her taking that battle, though. <laughs> but, uh, I don't see her taking that battle. But it would be a good one if it could happen. Uh, as I said, shout out to Drake. New album is out uh, now, and definitely check out uh, check out the whole thing. But but check out the song "Calling My Name," uh, where you can hear me on there. And um, D Williams, you can see my credit. The credit is on there on the on the song. Shout out to him. Shout out to his whole team and all that good stuff. We're gonna be back here on Monday, six p.m. A lot to talk about. Uh, the countdown to the primary in Maryland is on. If we're talking about straight vocals. Jay Hara says Jennifer Hudson. Jennifer Hudson and who? Right? No, I mean, Je- like uh, Jennifer Hudson can sing her ass off. There's no no doubt about that. Jennifer Hudson and who? We already saw Jennifer Hudson and Fantasia. I guess Fantasia won that. We're talking about American Idol. Uh, yeah. So uh, Queen of Wands says that Trump was a necessary evil. What are you talking about, Queen of Wands? What do you mean necessary evil? He definitely was evil. I don't know if he was necessary. Uh, I don't know if he was necessary. At the Diamond K Show on all social media, uh, if you have a event coming up, something you want me to plug, DJ Diamond K at gmail.com is how you get in touch with me. I'm looking at some of these comments about rape and incest and abortion. Uh, Amani says that rape, incest, and uh, terminal pregnancies, you can 100% still get an abortion. All 50 states, no questions asked. 
What are you talking about right now? Okay, they, they, no, you can't. <laughs> she is talking crazy. She 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 is talking crazy. Uh, and um, yeah, so I, there have been a lot of comments about this change in abortion, uh, gun rights, and we're going to be talking about this for a while. We're going to talk about this for a while. Uh, so uh, definitely, as uh, as for the primaries in Maryland, July the nineteenth. It is on. Search the Diamond K Show on YouTube. Subscribe to the page. That is all good business. You can also contact marketing at the diamondkshow.com. This has been real. This has been real fun. I will see you guys on Monday. On Fire TV is a streaming network for a generation on the move. 